So what is a local secondary index? Well, it provides you with an alternative sort key that you can use for scans and queries. You can create up to five per table and they absolutely have to be created at table creation time. You can't add, remove or modify them later on. The local secondary index has the same partition key as your original table, but a different sort key. So it gives you a different view of your data organized by whatever that sort key is that you've chosen. Any queries based on that sort key are then faster using the index than if you were to query or scan the main table. So let's have a look at what that means. So we have our primary table, which has a partition key of client ID and a sort key of created. So data is organized by these. Remember when we were doing a, a query, we still had to put in a entry for the client ID we wanted to search for and the created date or date range that we wanted to search for. And that filtered the results. And then we could then further filter it by selecting the attributes we wanted to return. Now with a second local secondary index, you can instead choose a different sort key. So in this case, I've got the client ID and then the SKU. So now I can do different searches. I can choose to look for which orders has Chris placed for a specific SKU. You can also optionally project attributes. So that means that all those other attributes on the table, which I'm not showing in this diagram, you could then also project those over. So things like the category, the price, the quantity, all those kind of attributes, you can project those over so they're also available for searching against. So let's have a look at an example. In this example, we're querying the main table and we must use the partition key client ID and the sort key created. So note that here we've got the table my store, we've got client ID, and then we've got created. So we're searching against chris at example.com and created. So this is just using the main table. So what about using an LSI? With an LSI, we can query the index for any orders made by chris at example.com for the product SKU1922. So note that up here, you've got the client ID and the created. So that's, so that's our partition key and sort key. But here in the index, we're seeing client ID and SKU. So we're able to search for different things and then we can filter out those results. So let's go into the console. Now you'll remember that we can't add a local secondary index. So we're actually gonna just delete this table. I'm gonna create the table again and call it my store. The partition key is going to be the same. So it's going to be client ID. We're going to add a sort key and the sort key is going to be the same. So this is the same table as before. And these are strings, but we're not going to use the default settings. We're going to add a secondary index. So the secondary index is going to have a partition key of client ID, but we're going to add a sort key and that's going to be SKU. And I'm going to create that as a local secondary secondary index. And this is where you could choose which attributes you project. I'm just going to leave it as all and add index. And now we're going to leave everything else as defaults and create the table. So the table has been created. I'm going to go back over to my command line in a second and just grab this command so I can repopulate my table with data. So let's just clear the screen here paste that in and that's completed successfully. So back in my table, let's go to items. We've got all of our items. And you'll note that now we have two options for scanning and for querying. So we've got my store client ID created or the index client ID SKU. So let's choose client ID SKU and click on search. And this is a scan. So that's just going to return items that have SKU and anything that doesn't is going to have been filtered out. So let's do a query now. Let's click on query and we can put in a value here. So let's put in pj at example.com and let's search for sku-p122. And so we should now get a return of a single item. So we know that pj bought this book. So that's great and there's some good value there. It means that we can now do certain searches to see if a particular customer 
has purchased a book. But what if we wanted to also change the partition key? So we've changed the sort key to SKU, but we also want to change the client ID to something else. So for example, we might want to search for the quantity and the SKU. And then we could say, well, let's see how many people have bought at least a certain amount of this SKU. And that's something we can do with global secondary indexes, which I'm going to talk about in the next lesson.